everybody's having a lovely day. Everybody's having a lovely day. I hope everyone's having a lovely day today. So today I am going to be reacting to Billie Eilish and Phineas. They are on BBC Breakfast. It is an interview. But before we jump into that, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you like positive things like yoga, quotes, books, funny videos, crystals, all that good stuff, then jump over there. Or if you want to be nosy, then that's fine as well. I do get a lot of lovely messages on Instagram, so thank you so much, guys. I really, 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 really do appreciate it so, so much. But I hope everyone's having a lovely day today, filled with positive vibes, good energy, all that good stuff. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to get straight into it. He made history at the Grammys. <laughs> you played at the Oscars, you're so right cute. on the way to having number one here in the UK. <laughs> How does it feel to, fit, to be Phineas and Billy right now? Overwhelming. It feels Yeah, good. it's insane. It's, it's super great. We just feel really lucky, mainly, I think. Above all, all else, we just feel super lucky. And it's, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a surreal thing, our lives as a whole. Um, I bet but it it's, is. We're uh, very grateful for it. Take us back a bit for those who don't know a lot about you. You collaborate together, uh, your brother and sister, mm -hmm. um, your best friends mm -hmm. as well. Is that true for both of you? Yes. I know it's true you say that, <laughs> yes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly, yeah, yeah. Um, how did you start working together? It was like 2015. I was 13, he was 17. Um, and it was kind of, I don't, I, it wasn't a joke, but we kind of had this like, I don't know. I remember Phineas one time was like, I said this in an interview a couple months ago. Where he was, he just like literally. I this was a joke. He said this was a joke. He was like, dude, I'm like you're the biggest pop star in the world. <laughs> it was so, it was so He's annoying that he said into that. Into like, existence. Mm. Uh huh. Sure. And you started um, making this incredible music, which has gone, you know, global is obviously a massive understatement. In mm -hmm. whose bedroom? Mine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why though. Yours is way smaller than mine was. Just where I had all my things, <laughs> computer. And, and you like, made the, so you made these fantastic songs in the bed in your bedroom, literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we just kind of have always made music wherever we are. Um, you know, we 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 uh, wrote and recorded the Bond song in a tour bus in Texas. Um, <laughs> we did uh, you know certain songs on the album in hotel rooms. And, Crazy. You know, that's kind of always been our philosophy: is just like not letting the place that we are get in the way of making great music. And in fact, like. Not to be too broad, but like oftentimes when we have gone into a studio, I felt in intensely uninspired. And on the tour that we ended up writing the Bond song, like a couple of days before we were actually able to write the Bond song, we rented out a studio to go try to write it. And oh my God, didn't, I didn't, uh, didn't write anything good. So, Comfort the Bond song. Correct. No Time to Die. <laughs> does somebody just give you a call? How did it work? I don't actually remember. <laughs> I, uh, I, I do know that we've been wanting to, to make a Bond song for years, and I remember at the beginning of last year, it was like we kind of told our whole team, like, hey, if, if any Bond things come up, we yeah. want to be involved if we can possibly be. Um, whatever we have to do, we will do. You know, the Bond thing is, I, I think people, the one that was made very public was that uh, Radiohead and Sam Smith mm -hmm. submitted songs for Spectre. You know, I think it's like, in your in your career, there are few things that are as desirable as, as doing a Bond song, and we did not take the opportunity lightly, and, and we really um, just tried to work as hard as we could to, to prove Sky. ourselves worthy of that. It's so you get the call, and it's something you say you, you really, really wanted. Where do you even begin with writing a Bond song? Um, we had an intense amount of writer's block as soon as it was, uh, mm -hmm, like as soon as we were called to action, and then after like a day of that, again, like we, it was, I totally forgot we had that day in that studio. Miserable day. So you went in the studio and it didn't work? No. But that's because of the studio, <laughs> to be honest with you. We don't work well in studios. I just, it does not, it doesn't do the same thing. Um, and then I think after that day, we, Phineas came up with this, this chord progression and immediately we were just like, oh, we wrote the whole song. Um, did you, because there's obviously, I'm listening to it, there's lots of Bond influences, so did you go yeah. back and listen to the songs or did, were they kind of part of your psyche already? They were definitely part of our psyche already. I mean, I think, especially just because of, of how much of a moment um, Skyfall 
had been for those mm. movies. We were familiar with No My uh, No My Name and uh, Another Way to Die, and then obviously sort of the classics like Goldfinger and yeah. um, Live and Let Die. But I mean, I, th I think especially like we wanted once we were sort of really sitting down to write how we, fun we of did go oh, it's crazy. everything as much to to know what had already been done before and what to avoid and not to copy anything yeah we, we yeah. really wanted to make sure that we weren't making something that just felt like we were copying other great songs mm -hmm. so it was very helpful to listen to these songs and with the lyrics i mean how much of the movie did you know of the story before you wrote the lyrics we had a meeting with barbara broccoli in ireland in like the beginning of september she came to a show and she basically gave us like a little hint of what the first scene, what has, what's happening. And then um, she sent us the first scene of the script. Okay. So like before the opening credits, she sent us the, the script and it was so cool to read that. Um, so we had, we had what the audience will have watched yeah. before they hear the song. So. That's all we had, but it was really, really helpful. It was, it was, it really wrote the song for us. I feel like. How long did it take to write the song in the end? Once you had, once you got past the writer's block. From writer's from block? real sort of start of like, the first thing that actually ended up making another song took about three days. Which is pretty quick, isn't it? I know, that's, that's so quick. quick. Is it? Yeah. And um, when and did you know immediately once you've done it that you've got it right? That's a, that's a good question. I like that question. Meaning what though? Like got it right. You think we that you were happy with? You it. think that we were we felt we were good. Um, no, that you were happy with it. We, I was super happy with it. Yeah. I think we. I knew we that we'd were, made ours. We were worried before we had made mm -hmm. it because we had a couple ideas and they just. I was I was anxious. I was like, this isn't Bond, you know. And and I think once, um, we wrote it, I was I was super happy with it. I really was. Have you seen the film yet? Yes. <gasps> Have you? Yeah. And. And what? <laughs> I mean, like, slide secrecy, I'm sure. Oh, um, yes, I'm sure. It's amazing. And when you see the film with your song, I mean, that's got to be... Oh, my God. I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be crazy. We haven't actually seen it with our song yet. We haven't seen it with the song No, no, no we no. saw it when we were still working on the orchestration for the song. So they had we the saw, song. like, a, a, a half-done version of it, though, so right. I know that it's going to be, like, crazier. You know the song. You know that you're happy with the song, and then it goes out there. Do you feel nervous before you know you, you put it out there? Um, I I was pretty excited. I was kind of only excited. Um, Good. Also because you know we did some things in the song that we've never done before, and I was excited for people to hear that we can do them. Um, and I don't know. It's just like it's so exciting to be part of this mm. franchise. So. Um, who does it matter most? Your mum's point of view or, <laughs> or Daniel Craig's? My mum's point of view or Daniel Craig. She's actually in the room with us. Um, <laughs> what do you, I think they'd say, Mum, what are you going to say? Wow, it's a really hard one. Well, this is the first song I know Daniel's opinion of, of ours. Oh, do you? So. Do you know the opinion? What's he said? Well, he had to like it. I don't if, Daniel now. Doesn't, if Daniel doesn't like it, they don't, you, you, know, you don't get the He's job. got a big say in it. We yeah. learned that from this. I didn't... I didn't think that would happen, but he's he's really involved. So he could have vetoed it. Wow. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A week ago, you were at the Oscars, which is... Great. Wait, our mom's opinion is also really important. I just want to oh, say that. Oh, sorry. Our mom's opinion is very important. <laughs> Tell me, what does mom think of it? I, she, I think she loves it. Mom loves but everything. But here's the problem, though. She does love everything we <laughs> yeah. do, so... Some of them that love stuff that like like mom, we'll say. be in the car and we'll be like riffing on some like accident thing. Yeah, mom will be like, I love this. This is beautiful. Of course it is. <laughs> children. She's giving you the double thumbs up for the phone thing. Why would you not? So um, cute. <laughs> about the Oscars, uh, were you starstruck? I don't get starstruck, but I was terrified. Were you? Horrified. Uh, I was terrified. Why? Because <laughs> why not? It was all scary. It was so because it's. Not... Like, okay, the difference between the Oscars and the Grammys being a musician is the Grammys are your people. Mm -hmm. the Grammys are people that do what you do, mm -hmm. do what they do. You're in the same group, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Big or small, you, are, you all make music. And at the Grammys, at least I knew a lot of the people already, so I didn't have this feeling of like, oh my God, all these famous people I've never met before. Yeah. And at the Oscars... So scary because it's like movie stars like you have a huge amount of instagram followers yeah um you do you still read everything that's on instagram no no i stopped like two days ago just two okay literally two days ago uh, have you stopped stopped um i stopped reading comments fully because 
because I was ruining my life. It was it. Once again. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's weird. Like, the, 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 uh, the cooler the things you get to do are, the more people hate you. It's crazy. What do we do about it? How can you? Um, I don't know, dude. It's crazy. Mm. Cancel culture is insane. I mean, that's not what has been happening. It's just been, like, just the internet is a bunch of trolls, you know? Mm. And it's like, the problem is a lot of it's really funny. <laughs> I think that's the issue. That's why nobody really stops because it's funny. And Largely, it's a lack of accountability. I think even if it's your own face and your profile picture and it's your own name, it's still everybody's much braver behind the people cell phone are just so negative now. In the climate, walk down the street, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. Even when you interact with people. Also, I would say it's like anything for a joke. Mm, say anything, open for attention. Laugh. You know, I, I've I've experienced that back in, you know, in. Growing up, I'd say things that I thought people would laugh mm. at, and then later I realized like that wasn't cool to say. And mm. I even think like just taking how I felt when I was younger, maybe. Yeah. Like when you feel that you have no public voice, somebody does have a public voice. They it seems so immeasurable in the equality scale of whose voice is louder, and you feel like your voice is very quiet, even though on platforms like Twitter and Instagram it can reach them directly. You know, so I think you might see someone who's like a a, a famous celebrity. And you might think, nothing I, you know, sticks and stones, nothing I can say is going to actually be, you know, uh, potent to them. But it, it all is. It's all very equal. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it doesn't matter what, what, how big a star you are, how many Grammys you got, what it still can hurt. It's, it's like, it's worse. It's like way worse than it's ever been right now. Is it? Yeah. Uh, what just, will you do when you know. stay, will you, because it's difficult to, um, you know, I mean, to sort of stay off, isn't it? Will you do that, do you think? Um, yeah, I think like. I mean, it's insane that I even have been reading comments up until this point. Mm -hmm. I, I should have stopped long ago. It's just the problem is I've always wanted to stay in touch with the fans oh. and like keep talking to them and like people have ruined that for me. So and for them and for them, they've ruined it for them, um, and that sucks. So I I still try to like you know like fan posts or whatever, and and especially like you know if I see fans anywhere, like I just want to talk to them and like. You know, be around them because they're people. Like they're they're me. <laughs> like they're me. They're like they're like other me's. Um, people so need to they're be like kind. Friends of mine, but yeah, the internet is really more kind. Ruining my life, so I'm, I turned it off. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. It's all good. Yeah. Um, what about other parts of your life? Can you can you go shopping at all? I mean, the food shop. Shopping? No, yeah, no, no, no. Completely out. Hell no. You tried to go to Costco. It was wild. I did try to go. I went to Costco. Listen, I went. I uh, it was. It was, it could have been worse though. It was fun. I had, a, I had a good time. It was like, the only people that came up to me were like nice. It was a lot of people, but it was like, it was good. Yeah, you probably, it was nice. I don't know if you're good for sales or not, probably not. Dude, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, but the, the, I don't know. I can't, it's so funny. Like people, there's this thing that people think is, I guess, funny where they like will dress up as an artist and like and go out in public mm. and then like a mob a lot of people like, have been doing that with billy like it's so stupid honestly there was one i liked that was a girl pretending to be me and she was it was the only one that i liked cause she she was like cute and like funny and like she actually at the end of the video she was like wow this is what billy's life is like like yeah, that's so crazy that. i respect you girl but then the rest of them are just it's dangerous it's so dangerous you think i'd be going to the mall like why would i why would I be at the mall? That's what I don't understand. It's like yeah. all these people like following this person who actually isn't me. I feel so bad for them because it's like they're like, oh my god, we just met and her. It's and it's not even me. Well. Yeah. Um, so playing the Brits tonight. Crazy. Oh wow! Yeah, so that's crazy. Even at this stage, do you feel nervous? Yes. I'm just nervous to hit the bell to hit that high note. I'm terrified. First time ever. So please take it easy on me. I'm scared. Oh, I think it was a song. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Billy's in the UK. Do you have any like rituals or do you have anything before you go? Or? I mean, I warm up. That's about it. We really, we really don't have rituals. People do that like huddle and stuff. Whenever like, people have their hands and they go, Wah! I'm always like. Oh. <laughs> Some people do it cute. Some people are really cute. Anderson Pack and his crew does it cute. I love. Billy. There's many people that we love that do it, but if someone told me I had to do it, I roll my eyes. Oh, <laughs> Hug, you don't give each other a look. Oh, I give her a lot of hugs. We like we hug fist bump. I don't know. Okay. Fine. We do like little things, but we just I'm go out of the because show. it's in front of your peers. Is that oh, hell no. I don't know who's coming. <laughs> no, it's just, <laughs> it's just the song. No, it's just the song. I'm so scared. Because it's a new, we've never performed it ever. It just like, up until the day it came out, we've been keeping it a secret for months. So it feels so weird that it's mm. like in the public. 
and especially now that I'm performing it and yeah. I'm hitting a note I've never hit before, I'm scared. To the practice, I'm kidding. No, I don't know. You should go. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, of course. Good luck. Hey, thanks for having us. Really great to be here. Cool. Thank you so much. Oh, so fun. But like Billy was saying, people are very negative nowadays. People will say things for attention. People will say things because maybe they aren't having, um, aren't in the best frame of mind or I'll go through things. People say bad things, like negative things nowadays. And um, I personally, well, I've had people say like negative things to me before, but like on Instagram, well, once, but I mean like mainly on YouTube and like Instagram, I don't really get negative comments, but if I was to get ne negative comments, I wouldn't even reply. Um, I wouldn't even give like them people a time of day or energy, but um, just be more kind, everyone. Everyone needs to be like more kind and stuff. Like everyone just needs to be better. Um, but yeah, Billy and Phineas have come so far, it's crazy. I didn't know that they were performing at the Brits, so I'm really excited to see that video if it comes out on YouTube. Um, I normally do watch the Brits, but I'm not gonna watch it because I don't wanna see him perform. So I'd rather watch it with you guys if it comes out on YouTube. I know that Billy will do well and Phineas will do very well performing live so i'm really excited to see that but anyways guys thank you so much for the request i hope you enjoyed make sure you like share comment and subscribe and